then the next net displacement in this direction is x2 minus x1. Therefore, the force is acting in this direction is k x2 minus x1. And because the mass is moving this direction, the force acting on this mass due to k is kx1 in this direction. Therefore, I'm writing over here k x1 in this direction, and that has to be minus because I am using positive direction in this direction, right? <coughs> and here what I have is x2 minus x1, and then force is acting in this direction, therefore that has to be minus. Okay. Should be plus. Why? Because it's the same direction. Plus. Okay. So he got one orange. So what we have is Kx, I have minus 2Kx1 plus Kx2. Okay, that's why I have 2K and minus K. Okay, suppose X2 is 0 here, meaning that I am fixing X2. Okay, then if I move X1 over here, unit by unit displacement, then I will have a 2K. So this one indicates that the reaction force acting on mass 1, when I allow unit displacement on x1, but zero displacement on x2. Okay? Okay? What about the, this one? Okay, I allow If I allow zero displacement over here and a unit displacement over here, what I will get? 2K, and that is this one. And what about this off-diagonal term? Anybody has an idea? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's reasonable, right? Yeah. So K I Z K one two means the force acting on mass one. Okay, when mass one is not moving. I mean, which means that I am holding mass one. And allow mass 2 moves the unit displacement, then how much force will act on mass 1? That is minus K2. So, that means, Kij means, now what? When I hold mass Mi, but allowing the motion of Z. Okay, then immediately we can understand K13 is 0. K14 is 0. K23 is not 0. K24 is 0. Therefore, the K matrix is a symmetric and also the element has, in general, the K matrix, if you have a multi degree of freedom system, K matrix has element, non zero element in diagonal. Right? Now, what about the mass matrix? Mass matrix is diagonal. It's only diagonal term. K matrix is a sort of 
bad and but has some bad because of the property of this. So, if you have many degrees of freedom, then it's easy to make a k-matrix. You don't have to write the equation of motion. You just stick on the definition of k-i-j and you can write k-matrix. Okay? We let x equal m minus one half over one half and q. What is m? This? We go back to what? It, what is that? The square root of the inversion. Right? Okay. How to make an inversion of matrix? It's in the book. Right? The inversion of matrix is, is so complicated. But inversion of matrix, if the matrix has only diagonal term, it's simple. Right? What is this? So 1 over square root m, 0, 0, 1 over square root. Okay? Because we only have a diagonal term, inversion is done as we do an algebraic operation. Okay. And then what we do next? This will give me the equation m, m to the minus one half, okay, q plus uh, k, m to the minus one half, q equals zero. This motivated us to pre-multiply m to the minus one half, m to the minus one half because I can get identity matrix over here. Okay? Therefore now I have identity matrix which simply means that one one zero zero and q plus k tilde q equals zero where k tilde is Until now is m to the minus one half k m to the minus one half. Why we do this operation? Why? To make this matrix identity. Of course you can you can get a bold shape by just assuming that x is equal to u exponential j omega t. Right? That was handled in the midterm examination and I hope you, everybody got a right, a right answer because we were fortunate to have an exercise on that problem. Right? And I didn't make a P, I I didn't make the uh, the problem of midterm examination, and and that's one reason why you get so high score over here. <coughs> Maybe you guys are lucky. The next time I will make a problem, the final examination, and those kind of lucky things never happen to you. So uh, okay, well, we can. So what's the difference between this you? And this Q, this U also expresses the, 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 the shape of a vibration when it is excited, right? So if you get this U, what you will get? U1, uh, so look like minus, oh no, plus 1, plus 1. And U2 vector would look like what? 